I need oh, a watch. Here we go. Yeah. Record, record, yeah, record, did, recording and stuff. Welcome back to another Bassmaster Open Pros Pick'em. We're at stop number three, episode number four, at the Harris Chain of Lakes. We had the Bassmasters Classic uh, just a few weeks to go. And actually, I almost completely forgot about doing this fantasy show until Matt texted me like two days ago and was like, hey, by the way, you know there's an elite event this week. And I was like, oh, crap, there is an elite event this week. Um, but let's recap. Are you that busy? Intro. You could tell you're just you burning with excitement. Let, let, yeah. Let, let's recap real quick. Um, I just want to say I did pick Justin Hamner um, in mm-hmm. my group at the last event, which was the Bassmasters Classic. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah, heck yeah, I did. You got a bunch of points then. I did. <laughs> no points. No point. Overall. I don't know. Probably still terrible. Uh, yeah, I'm still terrible. But, oh, you know. I'm, I, I think I'm the worst. I'm in like 17,000th place. Yeah, maybe you are probably worse than me because I'm in like 3,000. Yeah, yeah. so Todd will never tell us where he actually is. So, what, How many points you got, Todd? I barely know how to even get on this thing. I'm always mm-hmm. late getting on it. I haven't even did signed he, in yet. Just did you, so you haven't picked your team. You haven't picked your team yet. No, we're on. He's Toho, waiting to see right? what our picks are, and then he'll pick his team. Are we on? Oh, Toho? gotcha. No, we're not on Toho, no. and we're not on Okeechobee. We're it's on the Harris Chain. We're on Stick Marsh. It's Stick Marsh, it's Stick Marsh I thirteen this week, Todd. I can pick the same uh, thing. It don't matter. Hey, last last picks he of that, Florida. He got confused between St. Clair and St. Lawrence River, and still just. Throttled us. Be, At least it's well, I mean, smallmouth. Yeah. yeah smallmouth, big deal. Yeah, exactly. I will I will be live scope picks only number two when we go smallmouth fishing. So, Matt, what is your rank right now? Uh, my classic? my overall rank, I'm 1,517, so I'm in the top 95th percentile. That's awesome. Not bad, not great. Not bad, not Where great. You at, what about God? you, Todd? You figured it out yet? No, I'm trying to pick my guys here. Hold on. He refuses to look at the giant numbers on the top of the screen. Oh, is it on the top? Yeah, you yeah. just scroll to the top. Oh. Uh, 436. No, 400, four, 442. How many points you have? I don't know. I, I told you my rank. Okay. Yeah, you're leading then. Uh, yeah, okay. you're cool. easily leading by a lot. You had a good classic, I think. Four, four. Four four two six. I'm sorry. Wait. Four four two six. He's oh, four thousand something. He, he forgot oh a number. He forgot God. a number. He forgot a number. He I can't. I'm not. I'm not. Unbelievable. It's not Monday. Well, hey, gentlemen. I'm in second. I feel good about it now. I thought I was in there last. You go. I'm. I'm. No, I know I'm in last. And I haven't even been really picking my buddies, so I'm going back to start picking my buddies again. Because <laughs> I mean, what is picking your buddies? No, I have not. I've actually been picking guys that I actually think that can actually do well in the tournament. He has been. So you don't think your buddies can do well in the tournament? <laughs> not the way that they've been fishing lately. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> poor buddies. Yeah, poor buddies. Exactly. I, so it was funny because me and Byron from Missile Bates, we were talking. We're like, we're not calling John. We're not going to talk to John. We're just going to send him positive vibes and well wishes because – he needs a big tournament, the next two tournaments, to get out of the hole that he's in. And I, I like. you know what that's like? Yeah, I know exactly what that's like. <laughs> oh, I've been I've been fishing good. I mean, I won a derby over the weekend. I got sixth place in another pro tournament. I mean, it's like life's good when it comes to fishing right now. I can't complain. I know. Is that hey, me and Todd are I just, can. you know? Hey I Matt, I got a lot. I got a real question for uh, actually about this. Um, so in these groups, because I've never looked like I, I always see like the the top guys in like Group A. When I mean like top guys, their their ranks, and I assume rank is AOI rankings, isn't it? AOI rankings. Yes. So how come you can ha- like how come it's not one through? I don't even know because, how many. Uh, because I believe the way that that works is they can go in and like throw little hitches into this system if they want yeah. to. So they throw some wild cards in there. So you have the it's it's loosely based around that, but there is a uh, a game master, so to speak, who goes, oh, let's toss these guys in this bucket and these guys in this bucket just to just to spice make it harder. Up. 
Yeah. Okay. Just wonder. I figured so, but I was just wondering. Is the way right, I understand well, it. Let, let's get this thing started. Matt, how about you go ahead and lead us off in group A? Who you got? Uh, I'm going with a guy who's done a ton of homework. Uh, you also have to remember a lot of these guys that are rookies were there last year and had to do a ton of homework because their season and making the elites depended on it. It was a fall bite where the fish were kind of scattered. Then I think it's going to be a little bit scattered based on the results of how the Toyota went down and based on what they're saying in practice. So I'm going with a guy with a lot of history there recently, JT Tompkins. Okay. What about you, Ish? Who you got? I'm going Joe Lee. You know, I like I'm, I, I'm, he's always solid. He does well in Florida. He's one in Florida. And he's one of those dudes, like, he'll just be like, oh, I'm just going to go over here and throw a chatterbait and he'll catch a five pounder. And then, oh, I'm going to go over here and throw a wacky rig Cinco and catch another five pounder. Oh, I picked up a drop shot and caught a, another five pounder. And, oh, I rolled in here and there was a seven on a bed. And next thing you know, Joe Lee's rolled out there with 20 some odd pounds and he couldn't even tell you how he did it. He just went out there and did it. Yeah. I like that pick a lot. What do you got, Todd? I think this is probably the hardest group. A. I think Florida Florida picks are the hardest picks of yes. any other tournament by far. And yes. if you notice, since and normally it wouldn't be like this. Normally with the Florida swing, it's usually the first one that, that happens and stuff. And so you got guys. This is a lot more live scopers in this. Um, guys that would normally be better at like smallmouth fishing. So like – Mom, I'm on a live. Thank you, though. But I will say this. <laughs> Mom, hey, Mom. Meat. How's it going? Hey, Mom. I don't even know where to go. the meat. Bring I the tried. meat, love, Mom. <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to keep going, and I couldn't. Oh, my <laughs> God. You just rolled oh. up in here. Yeah, I just Sorry. rolled up in here. Yeah. But I'm, gonna go, I'm, I'm still going to go with live scope picks only. But not really because of that, but Patrick Walters. I just – I got to pick someone who I think is just going to be really consistent in that group. Florida is about being he, consistent. I don't, I don't think it's going to be impossible to, like, pick the winner. P-Dub. Yeah, I like it. I went Jay Shakir. Last time he was there, he had a good event. He's on a massive roll right now, finishing he eighth is. in points right now. Um, I really think he is going to have a good tournament. I, he's got some experience there this time of year. And if anybody is really good at kind of doing a little bit of both, using port face and sonar, just going and fishing his instincts, I think it's that guy for sure. I'm, I might change my picks. When does this tournament the start? First time ever. No, no, no. I just looked it up. You, I'm good. you know they've killed the grass, right? So there's sun's out, legs out. Sun's out, legs out. I'm good. Shorts. Sure. You say sure shorts. In t- yeah. the shorts gotta he's, be in shorts. Legs will be showing, dude. He's gonna have. He's gonna be in shorts, dude. It's on. It's okay. gonna be. Sunny. So that's what happened. That's what happened at the classic. He wasn't in shorts, and so it just. One hundred percent. Yep. Gotcha. Agreed. Uh, group B. How about you got uh, roll ish? What you got? We're going. Like I said, I'm. I'm still buddy pick. We're doing the buddy pick. I got to get a couple of the buddy picks in there. We're starting out with you know the whiz kid himself. You know I don't know. We can't even call him a kid anymore because he's actually grown up and he's a hammer we're going pollinic i like it it's a good thing hey, what about I, you what about I, I you Todd? Pick matt's pick huh who did matt pick nobody's matt, matt had not picked yet on a i wouldn't list jt jt, JT tompkins i'm oh, going yeah. with jt tompkins usually, the whole year you he's like a, usually have like a 10 minute ordeal about stats and everything i did I yeah Where it, were wasn't you? Long. it wasn't that long what about you, Todd? Who you got group B? I haven't gotten there yet. Keep going. All right, Matt. Who you got group B? <laughs> yeah. so, I'm going with an odd pick in group B. Uh, shockingly, if you look at Benton's stats, he's not as good in Florida as you think he is. Now, I almost picked right. him and fished against him in the open in Florida, and it was super imp- – like, I was – amazed at how he was able to meticulously pick it apart and he understands the grass but i'm going with the guy who had two top 20 finishes on the fishery the harris chain right there he can do it all he's 
had a really good last year and a half. He's only at one per one point six percent. I'm going John Garrett. I think that's just a solid finish there. He likes that fishery. Like I said, he's been there. He's one of those guys that, that spent a lot of time there last fall. I think he's a lock for a solid a solid check. I like it. I went uh, Drew Benton. I'm kind of going against the stats here. I think if anybody can write the ship, it will be him. Uh, he's had a good season so far. So uh, anytime you're on a ship off goal, course. Is the ship off course? Yeah, the Florida can't throw that ship off course. It has done that to me almost every year of my career. Um, Especially this time of year. It's it's not spring, early spring. It's, it's not early post spring. It's but post spawn, right? I, I do think that his network of guys he works with, I think they'll be dialed in pretty solid there, and I think they'll have good events. That whole group that works together. So, um, and, and I think in this particular tournament, I think that might be as big a key as anything is the more eyes you have out there on the water, the the better you're going to do. So, true. Uh, true you got Group B, Todd. Did you finally figure it out? Not really. <laughs> um, I'm going to go Luke Palmer. I like that, actually. I might just go crazy. Weird. I, I might go just in different – I don't even know where to go with any of this stuff. Well, yeah. It, it, it's a weird this is a weird one this is definitely a weird oh. a weird weird tournament deal and where the stats are and the groups are i it was it was hard to make some picks no and Harris one's... chain go ahead there, there's nobody that you're right there's no one that's dominant on harris chain like ever like there's not like oh okay you say lake okeechobee okay scott martin's gonna he's gonna always fare well at a tournament but you throw harris chain out there and it's just like Oh well, this guy won this one, but then he finished last in the next one, and then he finished in the middle of the pack, and then he had top ten, and because that's me on that place, that's the, how I've always been. It's like you can't dial it in. Well, yeah, no, I completely agree. Um, let's go. Andrew freeze up on us. Yeah, he froze up. Oh, he wants to go. Ah, oh, meatloaf, ma. Meatloaf. Uh, no, she's back. Uh, no. Uh, group C, Todd, lead us off. What you got? He's not what even you picked yet. He didn't yes. even pick yet. You know he had to pick yet. lead us off in Group C. At some point, you have to just, just pick someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just man up and make a pick. Hey, 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 I'm thinking here. Man, I'm going all different picks that I normally don't pick. I'm picking uh, – uh, man, I want to know who's going to go – Go down to pop. Um, pop trying to think who would go down there. Well, the thing is, is I don't even know if the popka deal is going to be a factor because of locking. I know. I mean, I know that 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 four boat lock deal has screwed a lot of guys in that Toyota event. And yeah, but you gotta remember the elite two hundred plus boats. boats. There's a hundred yeah. boats in the elite. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, still, I, I think that'll make a big difference. If Man, 20 gonna, guys go down there. I'm going to pick – I don't know why I'm going to do it. I'm going to pick Caleb Summerall. Okie dokie. Uh, I went Drew Cook. Um, I don't know why Ooh. I'm riding the sight fisherman in this deal. I just think no. that they have experience, and they're going to be able to figure it out. And so – Figure what yeah. out? I don't know. Sight fisherman. I don't I'm know either. Out. This is a – it's a it's a weird one, like because there's not a lot of grass, and like so it's it's either going to be a show bed thing or they're going to well, catch them. Shallow. I changed my pick. I changed my pick. Brandon Lester. Yeah, Brandon Lester. I saw that, going Brandon Lester. That's actually not bad. I I like that. Who you got, Ish? I'm going Kenta. Kenta, you know he he's constantly fishing. He did decent in the open last year. To you know just finishing the top 10 in points. And I think that he's got the experience to go up there and catch him on a shell bed or go up there and fish shallow and catch him up shallow. And, you know, he's got his special sauce. And I, I think that's all that'll, you know, it'll play, but it's, it's like I said, this whole week of Florida is definitely different than any time we've ever picked. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, what did you got, Matt? I'm very conflicted on this group. Uh, I got three guys right now. I'm not sure who I'm going to go with yet. So Brandon Lester, not just because it 
feels right, Todd. But uh, I mean, I'm sure yeah. I'm sure you uh, picked him because you know okay. that over the course of his career, he has five top tens. I knew in that. Florida. I knew that. Which, which he's sneaky good there. I also think that, you know, the shell deal, he would be good at that. But as part of me also wants to go in this group, Jacob Peroznik, as a guy who's not afraid to go down to Apopka and flip. And I think it might be one of those where you have to be stubborn and just do the same thing all day. He's willing to do that, but he can also finesse him. But then here's the, here's the wild card pick. There's a guy in here who's really figured out Florida with non-traditional methods to catch him on the MPFL and the opens John and it's John Soko. Yep. And if there is a canal bite, a jerk bait bite, a scope bite, any of that, Soko has proven that he can dominate on that. And he's extremely confident and comfortable doing it. And he'll have it all to himself for the most part. I agree with that. So I'm either most likely either going to go, I mean, I'm going to go either Lester or so. What, what do you mean either? Well, you got to pick you right now. You gotta gotta pick. No, but you've got to pick. You've got to no. pick for the fans. This, this isn't maybe. This isn't this uh, is maybe. Pick pick maybe I pick got them. soak up on there. I got John soak up on there. Maybe okay. I'll do this. I mean, come on. Listen, there were some jerk baits and stuff that played in that Yoda a couple weeks ago. So, well, the hey, Yoda. Matt, while you're on the topic, why don't you just go and lead us off in group D? Which I don't know who we picked. That was the everybody picked the same guy. We don't, why we don't even we just skip it and go to the last group. No, we didn't. Yeah. Oh, this, is group, uh, this is Group A. Yeah, this is the I Group agree. A. This is honestly this the Group A. Yeah. I look at this and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is right. Impossible. What do you mean we all picked the same guy? Well, I promise we did you all, we all pick the same guy. We did not okay. pick the same guy. Okay, that's fine. I got Scott we, Martin. He got, got John Cox. Cox. John Cox. He got Ish. I'm with. I'm with Todd on the John Cox. Is that that's what I said. I figured. Yes, it is my, it's my, it's my, this is my Dude, anchor. Looks, Say hi, anchor. Such a nice dog. Look at it how is, nice anchor. that dog looks. So happy. Anchor. This is anchor. I do. Say I do want to highlight. I want to highlight this group real quick. I, I, I just want everybody to oh, yeah. be aware. Group yes. D is highlight Jason it. Christie, John yes. Cox, Buddy Gross won there last yep. time. Yeah. Hackney. Yes. Which has yeah. a great track record there. Wes Logan, Scott Martin, David Mullins, which finished third there last time. Livesey and Kennedy. Right, like, I put them like in this, there too. this is Group A. This is the true, like you said, the real Group A. Yeah, I went John get, Cox. Well. I, see, I went John Cox. Everybody but Matt. See, I said what I said once again. Everybody picked the same I, guy. I was on the Matt. fence though. Matt. See, mine was on the fence because I was either going Hackney or Cox because I think yes. Hackney is one of those guys that's stubborn. Why and, not? And I might still switch it to Hackney. That he might run to a pop and go flip all day. Hackney's, and not worry about it. Hackney's the scary one in the like. I already, uh, yeah. But everybody keeps on a pop go. What about Griffin? Griffin's still Griffin. I hate you Griffin. guys realize that Scott Martin in 2024 has had like seven bags over 25 pounds. And in, in, yeah, in April, <laughs> it just the whole year so far, like he more often than not, he comes in with 25 pounds between the opens. He uh, already has a win in Florida. In like, April? I don't care. It yeah, but he, win. the it win on Okeechobee matter. does not count because the win on Okeechobee is the win on Okeechobee. Like Scott's gonna win it on Okeechobee. Count? The I mean, you can't factor into the equation of Harris Chain because Harris Chain doesn't. Is it doesn't count in what yes. you're bringing up. It counts in freaking that he's. I still on think him the way awesome. that he's been smashing on him is gonna play here. Scott's already in the classic. He's just coasting right now. He's just he just fishing to be fishing. I, He's I just this, The last time they went to Harris Chain, Scott should have won that tournament. And, and I don't even know if he finished in the top ten, but he lost enough fish those first two days, or even maybe three days, that in, like that you visually watch on TV where he like bad luck, like just truly bad luck stuff, like reach over the side, get stuck in Kissimmee, in Kissimmee grass, and just not even grab it in April. That was in February, but no, I agree. It, dude, he, it is like, he was one of the guys that ran to a popka and I, did really well. I know so I, I, it wouldn't surprise me. My my deal is is that like is I it do, all these things matter. Like there are guys yeah. like every home lake. So I'm just telling everyone that's listening, just think about all your home lakes and stuff. And you're like that guy's phenomenal. Really, is he good in April? No, he catches them in the fall. Or that guy's really good in January. I'm just yeah. saying like. There's strengths to all that stuff. And I'm just yes. telling you, and I'm not saying Scott doesn't have it. Um, I'm just 
I'm just saying it does matter what time of the year they're going there. We well, right. that's why I like, the last I like time that Hackney I, pick. Huh? Yes. Yes. I mean, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't pick Hackney right in the dead middle of the spawn, even though he can sight fish. I'd pick John Cox, but I mean, I think Hack, and I still pick John Cox, but I think John Cox is like. Is, is it in the dead middle? Here? But it's not in the dead middle of spawn. There, that's the whole thing. They're in post spawn. It's Hackney in that frog could go dangerous on that place and, real and I, quick. And I picked John Cox because of his little spinning rod, little whack. Right, He's everything. Do some some different stuff. Yeah. John Cox right now is the best shallow water fisherman on the planet because he will do everything and he never veers from it. You know, the dude, like I said, he doesn't have forward-facing sonar on the front of his boat. He barely has a graph up there for depth. So, yeah. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm John Cox all the way. Let's go Group E. I'll lead us off here. I went Will Davis Jr. I'm honestly shocked they put him in that bucket at 25th in Angler of the Year. He's a shallow water guru and is a great swim jig fisherman. Not saying that that'll play there, but it just wouldn't surprise me. Uh, I almost went to Fuentes, and I don't even think it'd be a bad pick to go to Fuentes, but I just went Will Davis. This is the, best, this is the best group E I've ever seen. Pretty good. This is, a, this is the best yeah. group D and E I've ever seen. Yeah. Who you got, Todd? I, I mean, I kind of like your Will Davis pick. I, I kind of like the Gerald Swindle pick, too. Yeah, I mean, just like the Joey Fuentes pick. Um, yeah, Swindle is a big pick there too. I, I honestly yeah. am surprised he's only at nine percent. I think I'm just going to pick him because he's at nine, and, yeah. he, and Will Davis is at twenty one, and I got to make a little comeback. He got ish. Um, you know, I'm going to call in some old heat and go on the friend program, and I got to go with Ike. I mean, he's due for a good event, and he, as much as he hates Florida, he actually fares pretty well overall in Florida, and he's stubborn enough to get out there and freaking fish those shell beds with a freaking spinning rod that also pick up a crankbait and then pick up a spinnerbait and then pick up something else and just go fishing. Yeah. Who you got, Panger? Does Bryant Smith not know how to throw a frog in a chatterbait? He does, but you also got to remember we're talking about um, a guy from California, first time on Harris Chain. It's it's an iffy. It's a it's a it's a it's a different concept. That 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 deal. I mean, he's great frog fisherman. He's a great chatterbait fisherman. But yes, I mean, uh, that's who I've got right now because if it's spread out and it's like that, I mean, you you vouch for him. He's proven that he can catch him. Oh. He's had a, some great comebacks this year to stay in it. And the two tournaments he's fished in Florida, you know, on the Kissimmee chain, he finished twenty sixth. And he finished 58th on Okeechobee. So, like, he's not scared of Florida. I, I think that's a – It's solid a solid pick. pick. No, it is, it's definitely a solid pick. Definitely the guy's the guy's good. The guy is an amazing fisherman. Like I said, as soon as he left here in California, they were throwing parties because everybody moves up one spot. You know, wouldn't, it's kind of one of those deals. Wouldn't you all agree, though, that this isn't a lake – like, this is the – all those lakes start to become an issue to a degree. Yes. It's very hard to pattern the Harris chain because not, not one lake looks like the other. So right. it's kind of hard to go like, hey, I'm going to go throw a frog. You, it, you can throw one, but you're very you're kind of limited to where you're at, like that lake. And I know those yes. lakes are big, but when, I was, when I've been there, it's, it's very hard. Like it's always more spot related. It's always yes. more spot related than running a pattern. And, yeah, you can't just say, oh, I'm going to go throw a frog in every canal and you expect to catch them because you'll go in one canal and you'll catch freaking 17 pounds out of there and you go to the next canal and never get a bite. Then you go to the next canal, you might get one bite. And then you go to the next canal and not get a bite. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you can go, oh, well, I'm just going to run this pattern of canals and go throw a frog and I'm just going to come out here with 20-something pounds at the end of the day. Even the main lakes look like yeah. look so different than there. I, I don't know. It's, that's, it's, I'm telling you, these these are hard ones. Yes. This is a whacked out team. Now I just change it to Cliff Prince because of that. At I just made mine to Swindle. Like, I'm not going to lie. Oh, man, come yeah. on. He wins. can't help he it, man. It's just, I just don't think it's going to be – I don't know. Now I'm all – It's not going to be normal. It's not normal. It's not normal. Harris change. This was, I mean, if, 
I'm happy with one bucket. Yeah. I'm not yeah, happy exactly. with one bucket. I'm not happy with any of them. No. Uh, I, I like my John Cox pick, though. Well, I think overall. that's my best one. Florida yeah. scares the heck out of me. You got Hackney, you got Christie, you got, I mean, you got a yeah. bunch of players in there. Yeah, but, 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 but Christie, Christie, I just went back to Florida. Lester as well. <laughs> But it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if Christie does better than John Cox by one place. Like who really right. cares? You yeah. did, it's only John if is consistent. Off. John's the only consistent guy in yeah. in this whole on that place. That's the only guy that I know that fares well every single time he goes there. And he just he's always on some sneaky stuff down there. Like he's on something different. He's in a program that nobody else is always on. He's got eighty six top one hundreds down there. He's going to be fine. Yeah. That's a mat. I like that research. Yeah, so let's a, uh, let's do this. What is the tiebreaker weight? Who's starting off? Who I'm not. Let's go ahead. Uh, Todd Todd what started you got? Off. I'm waiting for your stats. I got 87 pounds. I have no reason Ooh. why. Wow. Wow. Hey, wow. I'm way off of that. I'm yeah. I'm off of that as well. Yeah, I'm off. Definitely. I'm oh, yes. 70. I'm 76. I pick. I pick 76.4. I picked hey, seven and one three. Whatever oh, it is, I'm doing it, and then I'm adding ten pounds for forward facing sonar. So that puts me at Ooh. seventy-seven, and then up to eighty-seven because I think that that, I think that if forward, we've forward seen like sonar. look at the winning weights just across the board over the last two years, we're breaking records. We're giving out century belts like they're freaking candy. That is true. And eighty-seven is still low. That's only like twenty something, twenty-one a day, twenty-two a day. I just with them being postponed, I, I really think that's going to hamper the weights and the fish are spread out. Yeah. Everybody's complaining in practice, which sometimes is the opposite effect. I went sixty-eight right. too. I, I really don't think it's going to be a big weight of. Oh, hand. that's an that absolute out. grinder. Yeah, yeah I got seventy-one. I, I think it's. <clears throat> I mean, it, I I had eighty to begin with, but I just don't think I if it goes eighty-seven, holy cow, cow! That's right, right, exactly. Hey, this it, might be this might this one I. I think this will be the most interesting event so far this year. The Yoda a couple of weeks ago had, it was 12, 15, 24, 14, and 13, seven. So it only took 51, 04 to there win. There you go. <clears throat> right. And then you throw another 20 pound bag on top of that. You're in the seventies. <laughs> yep. Don't y'all, don't y'all agree. This will be the, the most interesting event. So far. like all the other ones, we've kind of like guessed them. Like, <laughs> this is what it's going to be like. I don't know. I don't think any of us could guess how this is going. You know, I'm this not is the shakeup. I'm saying this like, is the shakeup. Yeah, they're like like it's shake up. It's gonna be interesting what goes down. I think we're gonna be yeah. shocked at what goes down. I shake wouldn't even the be points. shocked if I didn't pick up a big glide bait and go to work on them. I mean, yeah, just, yeah. or some guys out there pinging around a little, ding, little freaking yeah. little whatever out there. And then, so, uh, yeah. what is the winning bait this week, then? The winning bait. Think? Winning bait. Winning bait. What do you got, Hanger? Winning bait. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, it, yes. if you do it historically, there isn't a winning bait. There's going to be like three or four winning baits that a guy puts together. Jerk bait. So, you got to say two. You get yeah, two I, think a, two. I think dragging a... Texas rig and a jerk bait. Hey, what do you think, Todd? I think jerk. I think it's going to be a shad spawn deal, and I wouldn't be throwing a jerk bait down there. But a lot of those guys, like, I mean, I would be frogging and swim jigging and stuff like that. But chances are, there's my boy Todd. Hey, dude, I've been all big riding it lately, man. I've been <laughs> sight fishing them, frogging them, boy. It's been all. Hey. But no, I, I like they'll it. go out there with some little jerk bait somewhere and be out there on the shad spawns doing something. I ain't gonna lie, I forgot the shad spawn was probably going on down there. I probably would change my picks a little bit just based off of that. But I'm basing it all off shad spawn. That's why I picked Patrick. Oh yeah, I mean I would have looked at Hank Cherry to be honest, just for the fact that I know he's caught him down there jerking, right, uh, on the shad spawn big time. Um. Anyways, I, I do think it'll be a chatterbait and a swimming worm. Ooh, my guess. swimming worm. 
I'm all I'm down about the chatterbait. I'm definitely on that program. The chatterbait and maybe mix in a frog a little bit, you know, get on the chat spawn bite in the morning, catch some there, do that, go pick up a frog when that sun gets high, hit some of that freaking duckweed, catch you a couple good ones like that, and then back to the chatterbait, just roll it. Or dragon. Or like dragon. Like or dragon. I mean, someone's going to get on that deal, too. I hate uh, to say it. I mean, I feel uh, bad about myself as a human for care. saying this, but a Carolina, Carolina rig. What do you, what, what's, up, what's wrong with that? Just, I like catching 11-pound 13-ouncers like, like I have this year on Carolina rigs. They're awesome. Like, I, I, as much as I hate the Carolina rig, the biggest bag I ever caught in a tournament 35 pounds, 12 ounces came on a Carolina rig. Biggins bite that thing. They do. And and it's it's a lost start. No doubt. Especially in this day and age. So who do we think wins this event? You know, it's a lot different. It doesn't have to necessarily be somebody you picked in a group. Who wins? I'm picking Hackney. You're going Hackney. But you're not going to pick Hackney. Nope. I'm picking, okay. Well, yeah, I'm picking Hackney now. Oh, okay. I was you just said checking. You to be in the group. I'm gonna pick I, know, I was just asking. You ain't got to get all mad about it. No, I'm 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 now <laughs> mad. I'm frustrated. Who you got ish? Who who wins the tournament? Uh, let's go whiskey Polonic. I like it. What do you got, Panger? Steve Kennedy. I think he's gonna Ooh. cover water with something big and oh. put it in front of a lot of big fish. I mean, dude, he can frog, he do can you think, do the you... bank. he'll just go down the bank and Here's a question, Matt. Do you think he still has the fire to win? Yeah, absolutely. You think so? Okay. I just think Steve I'm, is built different. Steve will always I, have that fire to compete different. to catch big bass. Like, I mean, he does it. He just is. I know, different. but but he's 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 more intricate about it now. Like, yeah, if he gets on a big bite and he he'll just try to stick with that big bite all the way through. Yeah. Just because he loves it, just because he wants to catch them big. Can that can that ever happen again, Ish? No, I know, no. right, Andrew? I, I know. I mean, exactly. I'm trying to I'm doubt you. you can't do it for four days. No, no, no. I, I honestly, it it doesn't it doesn't exist anymore. I mean, I see it in the opens. One, you can't go frog the way you used to anymore. Up for four days, three days, especially especially like in the opens, five days of practice. That bite's gone. Yeah. Gone. I don't care what lake. Toledo Bend might be the only lake where you run way the heck up river where there's nobody and the fish are in the bushes, maybe Rayburn. But the majority of lakes out there now, you can't do it anymore. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Is Champlain. Even those lakes that I know you can do, oh. you still can't, you can't win doing it. No, you Champlain, you can't. Yourself. Yeah. yeah, at the right time of year. I think you can. I think I think if you came to a place like the Delta. Yes, but that's what I'm saying, not those yeah. places. And that's what oh, we're not learning. Florida. That's what we're learning is that like what if so that's what we like locally, like when we talk around a little bit, we're like, okay, now that everyone's getting better with forward facing sonar, can that even if you have it to yourself? You don't think the like the frog bite on Rayburn if right now not not when guys go catch 25 27 pounds in a in a bfl or t and you're sitting here going man that's and they probably can do it again where you're having to run all new water every day and they're like right they're not that's just yeah, what i'm right. saying if that harris yeah. chain pops off like that we're, and i think that's, that's what, what everyone is. around the country is realizing is it now it doesn't really matter all about all this other stuff for 30 years if that right. bike's on you can't it doesn't matter how good your bite is you can't beat that bite you can't That's, beat it right yeah i'm not well, saying it's there yet but it's getting closer and closer with every tournament we witness yeah well uh i went uh john cox for the win um it's about time he wins one again i mean just not surprised uh and i do want to make for anybody that is still watching i want to make <laughs> one last minute change um once again, I, I changed my group E to Joey Sefuentes. So it's on record that I did change my group E to Joey Sefuentes. I actually just read an article uh, from the Toyota that the guy was throwing a Carolina rig. Ma, meatloaf. 
I really want to know what what where the story goes. Okay, sorry. sorry. That's my bad. No, he was in the Toyota series. He was catching on a Carolina rig, and when he saw one of those forward face sonar, he'd throw a drop shot over there and catch it. And the best drop shotter in the group that's going to target fish like that is Joey. And so, oh, that could, gr- in that group, in that, in that group. group. And and I could see him just scanning around with a drop shot for eight hours and have enough to do well in the event. I, I would yeah. just like to draw attention that we live in a day and time where it makes complete and total sense to everyone on the panel that we're talking about a drop shot in Florida and the best drop shotter is a guy who wears a cowboy hat. And everyone is just totally cool with this whole scenario here. This is the day and age that we live in in 2024 in professional time, 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 time to quit. Time to quit. It's time no to quit. No one said me and Ish were cool with any of this. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just definitely saying, not like, cool. I mean, just, just look at the pieces of that puzzle. Like, I mean, you wouldn't have seen that five years ago, I don't think. No. I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry to say, Todd, that my freaking partner caught a nine on eight pound line and a drop shot in a tree. No, I, remember I texted nine, you. I like, yeah. Oh, it's caught on a big one. Sight fish. Like, <laughs> I know. A nine on a drop shot. I'm just like, no, no. Well, guys, no. I appreciate y'all coming on. If y'all get a chance, go check out Ish at Fish for Ish on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, Todd Castledine on his YouTube channel and his podcast. It's always interesting. And then <laughs> calling out names. We're calling not, out names. Not as interesting as Luke Duncan's. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. He froze up again. Ma, meatloaf. He's down in his mom's basement. Come on. Are y'all there? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're back. Yeah, we're, we're yeah, going you never left. We never so left. Bad. Oh my gosh. Well, go check out Matt Pangrak at Bass Talk Live and Todd's weird podcast that he has about three times a week. You have a new series you're dropping too, right? I haven't done a podcast oh. in like a month because we've all been fishing. No, I agree with that. Can, yeah, we, can we call series, it? At my series. Can we, name, huh? can we name the series? Call it out names? Call it. And be uh, as we'll a guest, guest star. I don't have a name. I don't have a name. <laughs> 